Hi, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV, and in this video we're going to walk through the basics of buying a motorcycle helmet. Really this video should be your guide to how to choose, where to start, what you need to invest, and really how to tailor the fit of your helmet and the application into what model or what brand really will suit you best. We have a lot of customers that call and say, hey, I'm, I'm new to riding, I'm just getting into the sport. What are the things that I should look for when choosing my motorcycle helmet? This is going to be that video that hopefully will connect the dots and allow you to make a great informed decision outside of always being able to just give us a ring and have us walk you through it anyway. So moving into the premium range of helmets, and I would consider premium anywhere from $200 to about $450, $500. We're going to see there are some other helmets from brands that we've already covered in the kind of the basic everyday riding category, but what you see is helmets get lighter, they're more inclined to be Snell certified, they're going to become more ergonomic, they're going to be quieter, and they're going to flow more air. Again, they become more specific for the application. So whether it's a helmet for racing, or whether it's a helmet for dual sport riding, or, or some crossover enduro style riding, what you see is more features start to roll out. So let's talk a little bit about some of the brands that I have in front of me here as they, sh as they fit and what their, what their claims to fame are. I'm gonna start with the left with Nolan. You're gonna see some of the, now there are less expensive modular helmets, but really $200 up, you're gonna see the good modular stuff to emerge. A modular helmet is a helmet with a face shield that flips up. A lot of times these helmets have a visor that comes down. Basically, it's giving you flexibility for open face riding. On the phone, with a cigarette, at a stoplight. Just pop the face up. A lot of guys that do a lot of miles in different types of riding, they're gonna ride with a modular. Nolan does modular as well, if not better, than anybody. Um, other notable modular makers are gonna be um, Showy's Multitech, which is the lightest modular, and then I'm gonna get into some of the shark stuff. Nolan's more of a round head shape. So again, think about your head shape when you're choosing a helmet. It's very important that when a helmet fits you, the crown and how it fits around the top of your helmet is the most, or the head, is the most important. You can always adjust the cheek pads. Moving down the line, we have another Icon helmet. This is the Icon Variant helmet. It was new for 2009. This is a great example of a crossover enduro style hybrid helmet meant for on off road use. This is actually the most aggressive enduro style, or the most street aggressive helmet we have. These things look phenomenal with a guy with a hypermotard. Ducati hypermotard, it's just aggressive, it works with the lines. Icon's really big on style, but the functionality of this guy, it's gonna have a, a different type of eye port. It's basically the hybrid between a dirt helmet and a street helmet meant for a lot of different styles of riding. Ventilation's gonna be good. Again, in the Icon pool, you're gonna notice you have microfiber, everything's removable. These helmets vent really, really well. It's just a different level of functionality. Helmets become more specific. Moving down, now we have some really wild designs. There's something like the Scorpion XO900 Transformer and you'd have something like the Shark Evil Line Series 2. This has been one of the best selling helmets over the last two years for us. Basically what this is is a modular helmet, but they can be worn completely as an open face helmet. So what you have is this chin bar on an elliptical hinge and I notice how this is the wine red color. But basically it's ECE 2205 standard, so it's reinforced, it's gonna be that European standard. Shark is out of France. But what you're going to have is a helmet that allows you to wear it at full face, be completely blocked from the elements, has a sun visor, up and down, and then when you're ready to, pops back like that. I'm a big fan of this helmet. It's a more round head shape. It does fit me. It's a little bit round for my tastes, but uh, they also fit a size big. They come in different graphics and come in different uh, solid colors as well. Starting price for about these guys is going to be around $350. Moving down, the Shoei RF 1100, Snell 2010, brand new for 2010. This is the successor to the RF 1000, which probably was the most popular helmet that we've ever sold. This is the big brother to that. It's increased, they've, they've increased the ventilation. Again, big steps up in ventilation on all these guys. The guts are nicer, they're improved. They have a spring-loaded shield mechanism now, so it has multiple different positions. And then when it's down, the spring pulls it back. It pulls the visor against this gasket, creates a great seal from the elements. Won't fog, won't let rain in. It's just a big step up. This helmet's also very light and ergonomic. Shoei is notorious for the RF 1000 and 1100 series of making some of the lowest profile. So a lot of people there are thin guys, don't like a helmet that makes them look like a lollipop. This is gonna have a very low profile, but be extremely protective, extremely light. This is great for spirited road riding. I wear one of these a ton when I'm on my Ducati. It's meant for a slight aggressive position. Some helmets, touring helmets, you'd be in the upright position, and we see some of them. Um, so that's gonna be some Arise. It's gonna be the, uh, the Scorpion XO1000. They're meant to be sitting in upright. Anytime you see the vents really high on the head, when the, the vents are closer to the eyebrows, it means, you want, it means that you want to be either in a three-quarter or even an aggressive riding position. So next up in our premium helmet line is going to be the brand new HJC RPS 10, which is HJC's answer to the Shoei RF 1100. Basically, you have a Snell 2010 race helmet designed in conjunction with Ben's Bees. He's currently wearing it in MotoGP. And what you'll notice is a very aggressive helmet. 
It has beautiful guts. It's meant to be worn in long distance, long term riding on the track, race conditions, keep you cool, great ventilation. It has HJC's brand new shield system, which is also pin lock ready. Basically at 350, it's a strong contender in the mid-range race helmet option. I mean, from here you'd go to super premium. So between the RF1100 and this guy, this could fit anybody on the track. The other thing you need to know about it is a it's a round oval head shape. The Showy is gonna be an intermediate oval. This is more of an earth-shaped head. It's a little bit round for me. So for you guys out there that have a more wide brow, a rounder head, this is gonna be your option. Basically, starting at 350 for solids, going up to 399 for graphics. That's the brand new RPS 10 from HJC Race Helmet. So next up in our premium helmet lineup is gonna be the Showy Quest Helmet. Snell 2010, basically this is Showy's answer to the Arai RXQ. What does that mean? It's a long distance touring helmet that's built in the same technology as the Showy RF 1100. Snell 2010, being that it's touring, you're gonna have ventilation scheme higher on the head for more upright riding position. Same visor system, shield system, that's spring loaded as the RF 1100. You're going to have a much, much um, more forgiving shape. It's a little bit rounder than the intermediate oval than we see in the Showy RF 1100. So it's, it's, it's gonna work with more head, head shapes and sizes. It's also quieter. It's about a decibel and a half quieter at highway speed than the RF1100. And that's, that is um, testing and configuration of the ventilation and some of the other features that they put on it from an aerodynamic situation. So you're gonna have a, a quieter helmet. Basically 349 goes to 469 for the graphics. That's the new Showy Quest helmet. We're gonna move over here, another Icon helmet. This is Icon's flagship helmet. It's called the Airframe. This arguably flows more air than about anything else we have in our lineup. The big deal is that the, the front intake vents on this guy are actually drilled at a 45. They're laser cut channels that go through the EPS, which is the, the harder um, foam liner in here that really protects you in a crash and absorbs impact. What it does is on a 45 degree, air, air comes in, goes directly to your head. Most helmets, air comes in and has to turn 90 degrees and then go down to your head. So you need a higher, higher speed on your bike to get air in. This guy actually at lower speeds will flow more air and at higher speeds will flow more air. The airframe does a great job of keeping you cool. Again, the airframe, just like the Alliance, which was their entry level helmet, is gonna be a very long oval fit. Not an intermediate oval, a long oval. As I said, as you go up in price, as you're investing more, helmets become more ergonomic. What you also notice is this is a, this has a Suzuki graphic on the inside. It's the fit and finish, the details, the little things, the way the helmet comes together. This is the airframe. This has the Suzuki version. It's actually a Hayabusa helmet. That's the Hayabusa symbol, and it's done in chrome. So you get some exotic finishes on these helmets. It's actually reasonably light as well. Last brand I want to talk about, and I already talked about Shark's Evil Line. This is a Shark RSI. Shark makes helmets from entry level all the way up to the RSR2, which is a super premium MotoGP level helmet, which I'm gonna to get to in the next part of this video. This is the RSI Shark helmet, a very, 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 aside from the Evil Line, they're gonna be a very long oval fit, just like this Icon airframe. These are notorious for being extremely quiet. I guess it's not notorious, it's a great thing. These are some of the most quiet helmets on the market, very aerodynamic. These are meant to be in an aggressive race tuck position. Notice the rear spoiler here, the way it's built into the shell shape. This is to eliminate what you don't want to, there's always going to be a vacuum behind your head when you're riding at high speed. A lot of these helmets are designed with a spoiler that's going to try to diffuse that air and eliminate that effect that wants to pull your helmet up out of the tuck. Most of these helmets, as you go up in price and invest more, will become more aerodynamic. That being said, when you're choosing a helmet, I've run through a lot of different brands, a lot of different models. Keep in mind fit, call us if you have any questions. There's a lot more to even talk about this. I tried to keep this high level even though I went deep on a handful of these different brands. See us at revzilla.com via email, 877-792-9455 via phone. We are the Gear Guys Gear Guide. We are experts at what we do. We take a geek's approach to helmets. We love technology and we love the safety and technical factor of everything that goes into the sport of motorcycle riding. You can call us, talk to anyone on our team. They're all very knowledgeable in all of this product. We hope that this message or this video painted a big picture of what you should be thinking about as you get closer to choosing or buying a helmet. There's a lot that goes into this. It's not a simple purchase. Um, thanks for watching today. We'll see you next time on RevZilla TV. And remember, we offer free shipping, we offer free first exchange, and we give you TeamZilla cash back on up to 5% on everything over 100 bucks on our site. Uh, if we've done a good job of filling in the blanks for you today, give us a shot to earn your business. Check us out at RevZilla.com. We'll see you next time.